Morgan, how are you going to lower taxes? Thank you very much for your question. What do you think about the Second Amendment? I believe the Constitution is not a pick and choose document. Morgan, what do you think about women's issues? All issues are women's issues, sir or ma'am. All right, let me do one more question. My opponent is Mary Gay Scanlon. Paul Pate. Carrie Warner. Stockton Reeves, the six. Describe it. Do I have to? <laughs> she is uh, relatively new to politics as well. She served on the school board, uh, but she's also an attorney. He was Secretary of State in the mid-90s and took on the office again in 2014. She's the Assemblywoman. I don't know if there's any specific challenges per se running against her. I think it's more that the way that the district is drawn. My biggest challenges are pretty much the money. You're up against the status quo, which tends to have unlimited resources. People know me, but not as much as they know him. Yes, jokes. What do you call a uh, fake noodle? A uh, oodle? An impasta. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> what did the ocean say to the shore? I don't know. Nothing. It just waves. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready for this to be over. Get over the next 26 minutes of my life. <laughs> Iowa's Secretary of State has long been cast with oversight of elections. The office itself is up for election in 2018 with a pair of candidates deeply divided over issues such as voter ID laws. Mr. Pate, critics of this thing also say it's nothing more than Republican voter suppression. Well, I think that's, again, that's, that's political rhetoric. Yes, that it is, used. but that's what they that's say. The, I'd like you to respond and they're, to and they're, it. And they're entitled to their opinion, but the facts aren't that. We're not seeing anybody deterred at all. Our voting stats are right where they were before voter ID was passed. And Ms. DeGier, What's the big deal with having to show voter ID? Yeah, you know, I don't think that there's something wrong with it, but we know that there's 125,000 registered voters that neither have IDs or have driver's licenses. We have to take those people into consideration. When one person is turned away from the ballot box, then that's an injustice on our democracy, and we have to ensure that we're including people in the process rather than carving them out. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much. I appreciate the text and support. She says she's busted, but send her the link. And she said she'll give if she can. She's working on her budget right now. E, it's Deidre. Need another Benjamin from you. I'll have Marvin text you a link. Bye. Can you text him the link, please? Well, things are going good. We had our first debate with Mr. Pate yesterday. Last month, we did a really good job superseding our fundraising goal, and we want to keep that up because we're halfway to our Cadillac budget now, which means we can really make an impact on TV. You want to do 150? Awesome, Sash. You want me to text you a link? You made a little pocket change. I don't like asking people for money. I really dislike fundraising. Who does like fundraising? Sick person. Ooh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> they told me it would get easier. It doesn't. It's one reason why many women don't run for office in the first place. We are told not to take up a lot of space. We're told not to talk about finances. I just don't want to be a burden for people. I didn't know TV was so expensive. Now I'm like a master campaign budget queen, like I have Excel sheets. No decisions made without me approving it. And it's, it's, it's really empowering. So for the last several weeks, the Republican Party of Florida, alongside my opponent, has spent um, at least $200,000 sending mail and running ads, calling me vulgar, immature, extreme, really trying to paint a picture of me as being ugly, but also trying to scare the district um, away from supporting me. This is so funny. 
Yeah, this is my first time seeing it, Jeff. Are you serious? Yeah, I haven't seen it yet. Oh, there it is. Edited are to you, meet decency you, standards. You, can I get a photo of me? Yeah, holding it? Right yes, here. can yes. we? To Doug. Fuck. <laughs> the <laughs> patriarchy. XOXO. That's awesome. <laughs> Did you see the first meal that went out yesterday? About you cursing yeah. or something? Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah. Yeah. So it begins. Nobody said anything about some of the stuff he said. Trump said. Oh yeah. Come on. The double standard. That first meal that went out yesterday, yes, we laugh about it, but that is designed to scare people. It is designed to uh, perpetuate sexist rhetoric. Yeah. And it's intentional on pushing strong Democrats away from us. And we can't let it happen. Yeah. What's the total? 2741. Yeah. So this week, we actually did secure a $30,000 gift for a major donor on Sunday. I did, I drove to Miami and back. It was amazing and to meet this donor. We're maybe only $1,500 away from reaching 15000 for this week. So we'll do it. Right. Yeah, you, get some rest. Appreciate you all. Bye. I gotta prep for my debate. Right. That's right. Kick some ass. You'll be fine. Hey. Yes. <laughs> I forgot they were here. Act like, normal. I'm, well, give me a moment. For you, it's because you know your stuff. The trick is keeping it short. Staying in the timeline. I know. That's it. I know. Yeah. I'm still really nervous for you, though. I like. I felt like sick today. I'm so like nervous. <laughs> <laughs> it's comforting. It's really comforting. I'm gonna feel great tomorrow. It's gonna be awesome. I'm gonna be sweating through my dress. <laughs> Can't wait. Red tide is salt water. Blue green algae is fresh water. Both are terrible. All right, Ida, I'm gonna leave right now. Rebuttal from you, Mr. Reese? Yes, I just want to point out that this is not about state parties. This is not about other people. This is about House 47 in our community. And that's what I'm keeping the focus. I think that's not true. <laughs> I think that uh, you're absolutely funded by the Republican Party of Florida. That's what the mailer said this past week. At the end of the day, you are partisan. You've run for office more than three times under a party hat. And in me, as a progressive Democrat, my approach is always to be inclusive and to invite all people to the table. And we are honored to have Republican supporters, some even in this room today. My goal is to represent each and every one of us equally, have an open door and be accessible. It was so funny, one of my Republican friends, because, you know, again, they're calling me immature and they're, they're calling me vulgar because I swear in public and things like that. And uh, so... The smartest people swear. <laughs> Amen. So, that is proven. So. That is proven. I texted back and I was like, um, yes, and I also talk too loud in public and I don't know how to cook. I am the woman of my dreams. <laughs> and I'm not going to change because a mailer is telling me to change. You know what I mean? Like, right. because the Republican Party of Florida has an opinion. We have a team of more than 300 volunteers who together have helped knock on over 26,000 doors. Uh, we've recruited over 700 volunteers and us along with our allies have knocked more than 100,000 doors. I'd say I have around 10 dedicated uh, volunteers that I could ask for help whenever I needed it. We've knocked on probably 6,000 doors by now. We have a ton of interns working on the campaign and in terms of numbers, I don't know. I'm pretty tired, but more of like a long-term tired. A short-term, I always have energy. I wake up every morning and I'm like ready to go. But I've been campaigning literally for two years now. I used to just walk and then I realized I could just achieve more doors every night if I just ran. I'm Hi. running for state assembly. Thanks so right, much. Thank you. Have a great day. You too. I feel myself getting tan. Did you see me jump from that cricket? I'm a walking, running billboard. I want people to be like, oh, that girl that literally runs from door to door. That's the actual candidate. Dad, ask me some questions, preferably corruption. I'd like to introduce Morgan Zegers. Republican candidate for District 113. Did you start it? 
Hi, everyone. I just want to thank you all for coming tonight. I know it must be busy on your Monday night schedule, but I thank you for taking the time to come listen to both of us tonight. It was the experiences that I had, and it was the factors of New York's uh, business climate that really made me feel less confident about building a future here for me and my family and my future career. If this is the first professional job you were pursuing since leaving college, why do you criticize career politicians? And I have already said that I would not run for more than five terms. I don't have any plans to run for anything after. I just think my state's heading in a bad direction. So I'm not trying to bring a 21-year-old's experience to the Albany. I'm trying to bring a working class, frustrated, tax-paying perspective to the legislative process in New York State. I've had over eight jobs at this point, and I would say they were all professional. Carrie, you get to respond. Thank you. I have 30 years of private sector experience working for high technology companies. I understand what it means to regulate industries. I'd say the most important endorsement I've gotten so far is Congresswoman Stefanik, and I hope that I can embody what she embodies. The endorsement that made me feel great was President Barack Obama's. You never forget where you are when you learn about President Barack Obama endorsing you. <laughs> and I was actually getting my eyebrows threaded. <laughs> the Delaware County Fraternal Order of Police endorsement. I served in law enforcement um, with a lot of those men and women uh, this past decade, so that was the most meaningful for me. Hi, this is Pearl Kim. I wanted to invite you to my upcoming fundraiser. 250 per person, 500 for silver, 1,000 as a gold sponsor. Can you just leave him a message that Pearl Kim called? Oh, from Pennsylvania. I'm currently running for Congress in Pennsylvania. I put in about 200,000 to my own campaign. But if I'm willing to put in my life savings, maybe that would bring comfort to other people who were also be willing to donate. I think we burned through most of it already. <laughs> the format, Pearl, so you know, you have yeah. the first opening of the debate, uh, followed by Mary Gay. If you're going second, take the time to jot down some notes of the key points you want to hit. Oh, will we allow, will be allowed to have You'll like be allowed no to pads? have a pad. Yeah, oh, no really? Pad and, and oh. take notes. They'll be standing on podiums. Okay. I feel yeah. like you do much better standing up and, you know, I prefer to walk animated. and talk. Yeah. Well, I don't know about that. I don't think, I don't think they're going to be necessarily... Walking. Oh, that's going to be hard for me. Okay. I'm just carry the podium. Like, yeah, yeah. get one on wheels. <laughs> and then it's at Delaware County Community College, right? Yes. Okay, so that's a big space, right? Are we in that large... Yeah, a large room. room. I mean, it holds a couple hundred, I guess, right? Okay. Yeah, they said 200 at the meeting. Oh, really? Is that they expect it to be? Oh, it's going to be packed. Oh, really? Yeah, but she'll be packed. We are at that point of the program for closing statements. Ms. Scanlon, we will begin with you. The stakes in this election are so high. Congress is not doing its job. It's not legislating in a way to help the people in this district. And it's not acting as a check on the worst impulses of the Trump administration. Ms. Kim, you have two minutes for your closing sure, statement. Sure, thank you. Again, I want to thank the League of Women Voters, the NAACP, for hosting and for Mary Gay Scanlon for being here. This all goes to my own personal story, which I told you before. When I was a victim, the prosecutor on my case treated it as nothing more than a job. She forgot what it was to be a true public servant, and that the government is here to work for us. I am running to change the narrative. I am running to shake up both establishments, both Republicans and Democrats, and remind everyone that the government is supposed to work for us. I was a fierce advocate for the victims in my courtroom, and I will be a fierce advocate for you in Washington. Please go out and vote Pearl Kim. Thank you. I put in everything for this race. And so for me, there's a part of me that just wants a little bit more time to meet a, a few more people and get my name out and, and so forth, yeah. Pete, how many days are we till election? I'm sorry, I've just completely lost track of 10. 10? How many days, are we 10? What's the date today? 12? None of us, we are 12 days from election. The days just completely blur and, and, and I've lost all track of time. I think that election day is just gonna be completely crazy. I'm looking forward to it, but I, I don't entirely know what to expect, but I'm sure it's just gonna be mind blowing. <laughs> yeah.